Carl Weathers. Or should we wait for that? Do you want to? Oh no, we're on practice. We're in the. Oh, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Are we waiting or doing it? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do take it, it to the limit. Yeah. Limit. I'm very excited to have the Carl Weathers skin involved in this. When I heard we were doing it, I was very, very excited. And and the voice, right? Yeah, and everything. The yeah. voice. Carl yeah. Weathers. It's awesome. Now, remember what we talked about, Nick. It's very important right now that we stop talking right about now. But there's no intros yeah. in practice, so you don't have oh, to. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, um, Predator, um, kind of the breakdown with him is that he has special moves. He has like three special moves in his default moveset. Kind of and like the common special moves. Yeah, just the common variations. stuff that, that, you know, that he has. And then each, uh, each variation, he'll, he'll gain, you know, additional special moves. Um, so that's kind of how he's taking broken down. And so, um, you know, you know, in his normal fight style, he'll, he'll have like some of the, you know, weapons that you would expect. So he's got the spear, he's got the disc, um, and he's got the, the scimitar that comes out and, um, you know, uh, stabs people. And like that. Like that. Just like that, yeah. And so, like, you know, for example, like that throw, and, um, you know, a lot of other moves. And you'll notice he has really, really good range. Yeah. Right. His yeah. jump, too, is awesome. Uh, and neutral jump punch is really good. Um, yeah, like a lot, of, a lot of the stuff that he has in this. So, uh, let's go over the smart discs. What all the smart yeah. discs can do. Um, just kind of hangs out there in the yeah. air. Yeah. Runs through that. So you'll notice that he has a disc he throws. And so what he'll do is he'll throw it in the air. And um, it'll sit there and like hang. Here, do you like, want to bring me into It'll sit there and hang for about like, I don't know, like 30, 40 ticks. And um, and then what it'll do is after after it'll basically like acquire its target and then home in on, on the victim. So it has this homing property associated with it. And, um, you know, once it's in the air, it's active. So like, um, you know, if a guy tries to jump in and it's just sitting there, he'll get, he'll get hit and he'll actually juggle from that. So it's really good actually so you can actually throw it up and what Steve's doing is like run in right. and then do like a mix up. Yeah. yeah, it's really good for screen control, basically. You put it on the screen, and then they kind of have to respect it, because if they get hit, they'll get comboed. And then if you think they're going to block, you could run in and throw. Or... And it really complements this long-range game. You know, you can put the disc out, and then come in with the back two. And you can also do the disc in air, right? And you can do that in combos, yep. right? And then uh, the EX disc puts out two of them? Two discs, two. yeah. Then they talk about, so... People might be seeing this and being like, oh my, am I gonna get, there's gonna be discs on the screen at all times. Yeah, I mean, there's. Go ahead. Go ahead and pull one out. If I, if he gets jabbed. Yeah, it'll go away. So it'll go away on hit, it'll go away on block. Um, so yeah, you pretty much wanna, you know, be in a specific range you know, to, to really use the disc. I mean, you can also, you know, use it here, like, like you were saying, you can jump back and you can use it. So there's just a lot of options. And uh, can you do an EX air disc? Yes, you can. So you can put two of them on there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so knowing that it'll go away on hit or block, the opponent doesn't have to just respect it. I could put it out and then you could do Jax's dash punch, yeah, yeah. get rid of it. You can kind of take a risk if you want to try to get rid of it. Then, of course, Predator can know that you know, and then right. I can do stuff to beat your dash punch. Sure. And that's kind of the guessing game. Cool. Okay, Nick, what's the, what's the next uh, shared special? So the next thing is the um, this leaping scimitar move, which um, you know is pretty much from the first movie. It's just like directly from the scene where um, you know Predator jumps out of the tree and you know, like runs in and he, and he grabs Carl Weathers, and, um, you know stabs him, lifts him up. So this is just, just our, our, our take on that. So am I right in saying that when you're doing all this, you watched a lot of Predator movies? Yeah, yeah. I mean, That's pretty cool. Pretty much, you watched everything. Yeah, we watched all the movies and. Um, just, just to get some like, different ideas. And, uh, did, you, did you find yourself making the predator sound from time to time? <laughs> you mean, <laughs> Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> they, the cool they, they did not do any of the sound recording for this no, game. No, 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 no. The scimitar slam, you can actually control which direction he throws him with the directional input. So if you want, I want you out of the corner, I can throw you that way. And the EX version has armor, so it's like, a, maybe I think you're gonna shoot a rocket. Run here, I can. I don't think he does have to. It doesn't matter, I could do the punchy thing. Yeah. yeah. The so that's kind of one of his better armor moves to get in. Yeah. If you're having a hard time getting a disc out because of their projectile, you can use it to beat their projectile. And it does the ground bounce too on EX, right. which yes. obviously you can extend your combos with yeah. too. And it gets more range too. Oh, does it? That's the one thing I really like about this character is that I think you guys really nailed the sort of feral aspect of him because he's very. Totally. It, it's, it's almost, it's, it's lumbering, but in a very agile way. He's very sort of like, I, I like the way he just yeah. moves. It's very, there's, there's an animal feeling to it, which I really enjoy. 
And then uh, his last common very or common special is yeah. So this is the um, this is the cloak, and so this is a little bit different than what you would like see on reptile. Um, yeah, he's distorted, um, so it's kind of like a little bit harder to kind of read some of the movement he's doing when he's when he's in the cloak. But um, so basically, what this is doing is it's um, it is mitigating damage. So it's like um, like nor the normal version will um, um, you know you'll take less shit damage. Um, it'll last for eight seconds. You'll get up to five hits, and then goes away. The uh, the X version will last for 16 seconds and then you get 15 hits. So, so you're taking no ship, ship damage, damage at all. Damage yeah, on the X right. version. So like if you're fighting like Kung Lao, for example, you know, that'd be, that'd who does who does some ship damage? Who does some ship damage? I've heard that. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard. <laughs> um, so yeah, so a guy like this, it's great for 16 seconds, which is you know, it's pretty it's pretty lengthy. Yeah, it's yeah. An eternity some matches game. are yeah. only 16 seconds long. And usually invisibility type in our game usually go away on hit. His does not. Right. So you can afford to take a hit. But it will go away fast. Yeah. And that's pretty much the common between all variations. Yep. So what's special to the warrior? All right, so now warriors, um, you know, warriors is, 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 a, is a variation that we kind of came up with like almost the day that we found out we were a writer. It's like something that was just like, yeah, we're gonna do that because it was so cool. Like, we definitely want to remove the mask. We want to remove some of those um, moves that are reminiscent of the last scene in the first movie. So, so like the back fist, for example. You know, something that he's done in, 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 um, in that last scene, just some little, you know, big stuff. Um, the back fist will probably be the most to use as a as Um The X version does have armor and be able to, um, you know, um, Right. So goes into the pop-up and then step. Yeah, yeah, throw a disc. And, uh, then he also has a um, uh, like an aerial overhead, which is just like a big bruise kind of um, you know, move to like, you know, get him on the ground. Um, and that all has different variations, or different distances. You can do it close, mid, far. Yeah, close, mid, far, for sure. Cool. Yeah, I, that move especially kind of like, um, it's a good choice to do this one without the mask because this one does feel like I think the most feral of the others. The other ones are more technology based. But this is so just in your face, slice, slice, jump up, grab it. Like it's just more like that. But I think it looks really great. And I think uh, this one's going to be really good for like a brawler type player because he normally doesn't have a great overhead. He has a great low, but he doesn't have a great overhead to go with it. Except in this one, he does. Right. So you can use this as like an overhead launcher or an armor, armor move. This is going to make his combos even better. Right. So I think this will be like the in-your-face one, which in the, of the opposite of like the technology zoning ones. Yeah. Right. Cool. So let's go on to the next one. Uh oh. Forgot. We forgot something. The big what? thing about Warrior. Oh. <laughs> What's that? What's he do? Yeah. So he has a he has this interesting move. It's something that we've like not actually done before. Um, we've we've done kind of proximity based moves before, but but we've never actually done one where you know something will, will time out time out on you. And so basically, what this is is um this is an explosion that's gonna happen on Predator after it's, I think it's like three three seconds, um, which will do damage to Predator, but will also damage the victim as well and just launch them up in the air. Um, where you can pretty much do so that that's an actual that's an interesting thing. So you can get him in the grab yes. and turn yes. the grab into a pop-up if you use his proximity explosion. Like, uh, Derek, can you block? Uh, yeah, like, if they're blocking a lot, they're blocked, right. I choose not. It'll still work even when they're blocking. Bam! Or you oh. just see when I was doing the throw or doing a hit, or even the scimitar slam, at any time it'll go off and they get that big yeah, pop-up. Sure. Yeah, and especially since there's like so many so many ways to like get in and get him um, and grab him. That, um, yeah, this is really cool. It's really but I can also poke you out of it. Right. And unlike the invisibility, if you hit him out of it, he will get rid of it. So the metagame's kind of being, you put it on, and then you're going to be desperate to hit me out of it. Right. Because you can't afford to just sit there and block. So you're going to have to go in. Cool. So talk about what happens now. If you take damage. Yes. And you use it, as well as your opponent. Yes. Now, at the end of the round, you were telling me earlier, when we were practicing for this, that some cool shit happened. Yeah, so, so one of the things about this is that... Um, if Predator's you know, low on health and the victim's also low on health and he does that move and it lands, um, it'll, it'll trigger a match extended. So the match extended will happen and then both players will re regain some amount of health and then uh, like, effectively like move around. Gotcha. Um, that, that's, and match extended are some of the coolest things. Ever. Yes. So we've, we've had three of them in our and, team play. And they're very exciting. Cool. I, I actually didn't know about the whole grab into the thing. Yeah. Pop up again. That's there's a lot. I bet people are gonna find some pretty interesting things with just using them. They can combo with them too. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. shoot something. Okay. 
Okay, pal. I, I, I'll get there, all right? I'll, at some point, I'll get there. Okay, you know what? We'll get there. Hey! Bam! Yeah, what? That took me all day, mm -hmm. but I got it. I got it. I'm sorry for the wait, guys. We do some tyrant like Jack's play here. No, no. Bam, bam, bam. This is really cool, though, seeing Carl Weathers and Predator go head, you know, toe to toe. I almost said head to head. But I guess works. Yeah. Toe to toe sounds cooler. Um, so that is his sort of, his, I guess, zoning yeah. version. Yeah. But you can also use the lasers up close if you want. You know, you could do a block string, just a, a combo, and then go into the low laser if you think they might let go of block. Or get in the corner. Yeah. How is up there for a day? And he's got some really good combos, so it extends his combos. But for the most part, yeah, this will definitely be the keep out zoning players variation. And it's also good for, I mean, uh, un unbreakable damage. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Good for that. Yes. So, cool. Let's just end this on a punch in the face, and moving on. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't think we've done this yet. Oh, right. Oh. Poor Carl Weathers. And he's back. Ah! Awesome. And, you know, I, I'm going to say this. I, I might be out of line here. This may be the first game ever where Carl Weathers can power bomb the Predator. Is yeah. that accurate? I think it is. That's never happened anywhere else? I don't okay. think no. anyone imagined 20 years ago when making Mortal Kombat 1 that eventually Carl Weathers would power bomb the Predator. No. We did it, guys. We made yeah. it. Let's, uh, let's, you want to check out the, uh, the last version? Yep. Um, you want to do this in verses so we can hear some intros, maybe see anything else that they've got. Steve. He's doing it. I know. Well, I just wanted to make him feel bad for a second. I don't think it works. Predator. 